Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your daily dose of zombies news from the game and its community here on COD Zombies HQ. Thank you so much for tuning in today where we've got a lot of stuff to talk about, so let's kick things right off with our first story of the day. A pretty major new zombies update was added into Cold War today that looked to fix and change a whole bunch of things. Where first things first, when we talked about this in a prior zombies news update video, I saw a lot of you guys down in the comments saying, man, this happened to me too, and it absolutely sucked. Where when playing Outbreak during the retrieval step, sometimes when you get interrupted filling the canister, sometimes for seemingly no reason at all, you just be totally straight up unable to complete the objective, it would totally bug out on you soft locking your game and basically forcing you just to end it. Well as of this update, Treyarch says they've fixed this issue, saying they've addressed an issue where the player was unable to load the canister during the retrieval objective. My only concern with this is it doesn't really tell us why it was occurring in the first place, a lot of players were reporting that it was happening when you'd get interrupted during the depositing procedure itself. Other players were reporting that it was just seemingly happening randomly, so, so hopefully this fixes all of those issues, even though they may have different causes, but I guess we'll have to wait and see as you guys start to play Outbreak with these new changes applied. Next up, another thing, as I do try to read most of your comments that I've seen a lot of you complaining about, and every single time I was just hoping for the day where we'd finally get to talk about it, that has to do with the Treasured Weapons Challenge being totally bugged, and in most cases, players totally unable to complete this challenge. It was bugging a lot of people, very understandably why, but Treyarch is now saying they fixed it, saying, players can now properly complete the treasured weapons challenge. So if you're a zombies completionist and was specifically going for that challenge, you were probably unable to complete it up until this point. You weren't alone in that problem, but as a result of this update, you've got the green light good to go. You should be able to complete it now. Next up, we've got round two electric boogaloo of this fix where Treyarch says they've addressed a UI issue where the timer display could overlap with the objective display on the outbreak game mode, where if you're in the middle of an objective, you won't be able to see the timer for how much time is left in a trial that you would have activated before starting the objective. Apparently Treyarch has shifted around some of his UI elements now, so we should be able to see them all on screen at the same time. Next up, I gotta be honest with you, I was debating whether or not to talk about this in a prior Zombies News Update video. I wasn't sure how widespread the issue was, but I did see some players reporting that if you upgraded Quick Revive to its Tier 5 ability, which allows you to instantly be revived if you take down a zombie be while you're down. Well, some players are reporting that if you ended up taking down a zombie while you were in the process of being revived by a teammate, you would permanently be stuck in the down state. You would never totally die out, but you'd never get back up either. You were just in limbo in this down state forever. I apologize, I probably should have talked about that, a little bit of a warning when upgrading tier 5 quick revive, but it seems like Treyarch was aware of this problem to begin with, where today they say they've addressed an issue where the player could be stuck in last stand using quick revive tier 5. This is the second time we've seen the tier 5 ability for a perk cause some major issues that players have been experiencing. The first of course had to do with Juggernaut tier 5 taking all your armor, now it was quick revive tier 5, here's hoping the tier 5 of the other perks don't have any other issues discovered with them in the future. Next up, ever since season 2 was released and players started to earn their flawless and refined ethereum crystals, started to upgrade their skill abilities, one specific upgrade tree in the game basically emerged as the most powerful of them all. Where before Deadwire was seen as probably one of the worst alternate ammo types, as a result of its tier 5 upgrade, Deadwire has now become the definitive best alternate ammo type in the game, and is probably the best alternate ammo type we've seen in any Zombies game, perhaps even surpassing its Black Ops 3 original version. It's kind of left some players wondering if Treyarch will end up nerfing it in the future. They have done that with other Zombies weapons in the past, most notably the Ray Gun when the game first released, and it seems like as of today, as a result of this update, they've now started this nerf process, stating they've addressed a issue, and I did some air quotes there, where Deadwire was incorrectly stunning elite enemies. At first, when I saw this, I went, wait, isn't the tier 4 upgrade for Deadwire unlock the actual specific ability for you to stun enemy types like Manglers and Mimics that you wouldn't be able to stun before if you didn't have that upgrade unlocked? So are they now, like, retroactively taking away that ability from Deadwire? Well, it seems like the answer 
answer actually lies in their definition of different zombies types in Cold War, where the tier 4 upgrade of Deadwire continues to enable us to stun regular quote-unquote special infected like manglers and mimics. This update removes Deadwire's ability to stun elite enemies, and we believe the elite enemies are only spawned in the outbreak mode when you have an eliminate objective. They spawn the White Skull Mangler, the massive Kransny Soldat, and also the Mega Megaton. Those mega versions of the regular special boss zombies that we're used to are classified as elite enemy types. So it seems like before, I didn't notice this in my game, but before Deadwire was able to stun these elite enemies, Treyarch is saying that apparently that wasn't intended. Now, of course, they removed the ability for Deadwire to work on those elite enemies, which does seem like it's kind of the first step on Treyarch possibly starting to nerf the Deadwire AAT. But on the other hand, the elite objectives in Outbreak, where you have to track down and take down this mega elite boss zombie, is probably one of the easier Outbreak objectives. And anything to make that a little bit more difficult, I guess, is kind of welcome. Like, you want it to still be a challenge. You want to go into facing that boss zombie feeling like a heck of a battle is awaiting you and not just a mushy target that you can just stun lock and take down in a few seconds time. But next up, it was bound to happen eventually and I'm glad a bunch of people got a kick out of this while it was still in the game, but a few weeks ago fellow zombies YouTuber Codename Pizza featured the ability on his premiere series Myth Busting Mondays that you were actually able to pack a punch and apply an alternate ammo type to the Death Machine score streak here in Cold War Zombies. It didn't really give you a massive advantage to your Death Machine, but it was an awesome thing that we obviously could never do before, so it was just cool that it was in the game. Well, Treyarch seemed to have noticed this and went, uh-uh, not gonna happen. Whereas of this update, Treyarch says they've addressed an issue where the player could apply Pack-a-Punch stats to the death machine. And so while the ability to pap the death machine is now Gonzo Alonzo, it does kind of go to show that Treyarch, while they are kind of aloof in the zombies community, we don't have a zombies community manager, we don't really hear from the zombies dev team on popular social media platforms all that often, they definitely do have their ear to the ground in the zombies community. There's people there that watch zombies content, that patrol zombies Twitter, that look at the COD zombies Reddit to kind of keep their ear to the ground in the zombies community both in terms of the feedback and the way the zombies community is feeling about certain upcoming changes and recent releases that they've made into the COD Zombies mode, especially since Outbreak has been released, and also I would imagine to help track and understand any of the major issues that players are experiencing in their game, which is part of the reason that in these Zombies News Update videos, I do like to cover some of the major issues that players are experiencing in the Zombies mode, hopefully shine a microscope on these issues, which maybe in some way might help these things get solved a little bit faster, which is also why I appreciate you guys talking about issues that you've been experiencing in the comments of these kinds of videos. But moving on to our next story today, in a very interesting Reddit post posted by ZombieWarlock54, he shows off a newly discovered way to change the elemental upgrade on the DIE Wonder Weapon by using the Pack-a-Punch machine. This new way was discovered by... did, did, it, did it get you? Did, did you think it was real? Because I, I thought it was real, it looked legit when I first saw this. But no, no one discovered anything. This is the result of some clever editing. But unlike most cleverly edited fake zombies videos that we've seen appear in the community throughout the year, this one wasn't made for the purpose of just straight up trolling the community. This one was made to actually help the zombies community and raise an issue to Treyarch that a lot of zombies players have been talking about. Zombie Warlock made this video to demonstrate to Treyarch a simple method in game using the alternate ammo types menu within the Pack-a-Punch to allow the DIE Wonder Weapon to receive its elemental upgrades within the Outbreak game mode. Since its released, because you can only get the base version of the DIE in Outbreak, it is 100% the worst Wonder Weapon on that map, and a lot of players just specifically don't grab it because it actually just straight up sucks. Using something just like this menu demonstrated by Zombie Warlock would be the most effective and simple way of balancing this weapon in that mode. Treyarch has constantly said 
said that they're looking for feedback about the Outbreak game mode, that they're looking to change and evolve it as the Cold War Zombie seasons wear on, with this post getting a lot of traction and being demonstrated so well as a proof of concept, if we do end up seeing something like this menu appear in the game in the future, well, I, I guess we know who to thank. Next up, it's that moment you've all been waiting for, and boy, is it a good one today. It is time for Outbreak versus Vehicles, where today, IC9 over on Twitter is just driving around in his Jeep, doing what you do with your vehicles in Outbreak, trying to smash through regular zombies, when one particular zombie comes up to the plate, and IC9, using the wheel of his Jeep, sends this zombie to Pluto and beyond. It's a grand slam home run, as just like Team Rocket, this zombie is blasting off again, never to be seen again, and man oh man is it a beautiful thing. But guys, that wraps up the news today. I want to thank you so much for watching. Hey, if you did enjoy the video, why not hit the thumbs up button down below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm thinking of maybe sometime in the future doing like a mega compilation of Outbreak versus Vehicles. You've got any good clips, the best place to send them to me is over on Twitter. Link is down in the description, but I do want to thank you so much for watching once again, and I'll see you with another Zombies News video tomorrow. Peace.